What's going on everybody? Welcome back to some more Blaze Blue Cross Tag Battle coverage. Today we're going to be going over the translated uh, scans that we took a look at a couple days ago from the Famitsu article. And also we have a couple screenshots regarding story mode and also trials mode, training mode, even gallery mode. And also we also have a little sneak peek at Yang's sprite. Yes. So let's get right into it. So first, let's take a look at the Famitsu articles that someone took the liberty to translate and to give us more information and more clarity as to the story and other things like that. Now, I'm going to be nitpicking the most important information about all these you know, boxes of text and all this text that is on the screen or, or on the article. So let's get into the story or what it has to say about the story. It says, on the stage of stories, mixing the four worlds together into a special alternate phantom field. The fighters have been abruptly summoned to that world with an unknown voice. If you wish to return to your world protect the keystone in the end is that voice telling the truth now two things suffice when i read this box of text that are very very important okay the first one is the phantom field it seems like what they're doing is they're not transporting to their own world but they all get transported to one world and i'm pretty sure in that world they can replicate their own worlds if that makes sense so for example when you play uh episode uniel then that means in the phantom field they get to replicate at least that's what i'm i'm thinking this i could be completely wrong but this is just all speculation okay it could be just be them uh like a hub world and then they go out to their own different worlds who knows how it's gonna be like but the phantom field that's an interesting part about it the second thing is of course the voice that they keep hearing that transports them to the phantom field now this could be the possibility of a brand new original character only specific to blaze blue cross tag battle which would be great i mean it's not the first time that arc system has done this they've done this with suzano and they've done this with with android 21 that's specific or like a boss type of character like an, a villain or something like that that gets unlockable through the story mode and i'm pretty sure that might be the case here but who knows if we could get a brand new original character who knows or maybe it's just like another character that we all know like for example if ragna starts hearing a voice and it's all of a sudden chie i'm like what the hell chie you know it's just you know it's speculation right now but it'd be really awesome if they made a brand new original character only to blaze blue cross tag battle that would be great Moving on to the next scan, they kind of provide some more information about the selections on story mode and the actual mode itself. Uh, episode Blazeway, episode Persona, all that good stuff. And also an epilogue, apparently, or not epilogue, a prologue that kind of explains what's going on. That'd be kind of cool. So I'm hoping the story mode will be really fun. Uh, from what I can see here, there are animated the portraits. So it doesn't seem like they're going to be doing specific portraits like we were talking about last time, but they are going to be doing animations for their character select portraits portraits which i still think is kind of lazy but whatever i i don't make these games i don't really uh, you know whatever it's not my biggest concern you know what i mean but i wish they would have had a little bit more uh finesse and a little bit more effort into the story mode but you know whatever i think the story mode will be fun nonetheless so yeah it's just all screenshots of what the story mode will look like episode blaze episode ruby all that good stuff the next one is of course the gameplay of platinum and kanji which is really cool they just basically explain everything you guys can i'll link the translations in the description below if you guys do need to see it but for the most part it just says stuff about you know kanji and platinum but the most important part about this page is of course the tactics mode and the training mode section that they have or at least the text that they have tactics mode is basically the tutorial mode they have for the game it says a mode which will give you a lecture on various techniques those new to fighting games should check out this mode first so it's basically the tutorial mode i hope it's elaborate i hope it's really good like guilty gear had it or like uh uniel had it uniel had a fantastic training mode uh not training mode a tutorial mode which would be really good for fighting game players and that would be great really training mode is of course you know just the regular the training mode you can hone your skills and practice your combos all that good stuff so that's nothing new there but the tactics mode is the tutorial mode from what i can see so the next splash page is probably the best splash page in my opinion and the one that i'm really excited for is of course they show off yang sprite so they have yang sprite ready or at least this is the rough draft and kind of just showing off a little bit of a teaser how yang is going to look like and bb tag i think she looks great the only thing that i don't that i would change probably about the sprite is her legs for some reason her legs look like have you guys seen that anime special a it was a great show i personally enjoyed it myself but that still doesn't excuse the fact the creators gave the characters pvc pipes as legs that's what it seems like to me like for example i wish or i hope i'm not not i wish i hope that they kind of tone her legs similar to like weiss i think everybody else looks fantastic but her legs for some reason just look off to me every other than that her outfit looks great her design looks awesome i can't wait to see her in action but i'm pretty sure this sprite right here is the rough draft they're gonna make it look cleaner better 
and just it just it's just a rough draft in my opinion so this it's just a little teaser of what she's gonna look like in BB Tag. She looked fantastic. I love it. Now that we got the translated Famitsu articles out of the way, let's move on to the screenshots. So they showed off here a little bit more gameplay on BB Tag with screenshots and also the trials mode that they're gonna be having. I don't know if this is gonna be character specific. I'm pretty sure it is gonna be character specific with some uh, default assists and such because there's going to be like universal combos no matter which character you have as an assist. Like uh, you're gonna have like smart combo into assist into another smart combo. That's gonna be a part of the trials i hope they go into um pretty good combos not like dragon ball fighters dragon ball fighters the combos there weren't were underwhelming at the same time it did help out certain people to kind of get a feel of for the character i hope they do it like dragon ball fighters they start off pretty simple and then they go into a little bit more elaborate combos i i really hope that that's the case i don't know with the smart combo system and other other limitations they have in this game who even knows if we'll get that next up we have gordo and weiss doing some freaking work here this is probably a team that i'm gonna be rocking nonetheless freaking weiss's sprite looks fantastic she looks so clean see what i mean like you see her legs like compared to yang's legs and that rough draft sprite that they gave her i think they're going to be toning her a whole lot more they're going to be cleaning her up making some fine leg work like weiss right here she looks so fantastic it's great i am so happy that my character looks as good as she does right there and of course they have the training mode here the training mode has of course the damage values the combos what uh how much damage each individual hit has it's pretty cool it's similar to blaze blue central fiction pretty good they show off rachel and lynn uh, doing some some combos here. Uh, so that's pretty good training mode. That's self-explanatory and here we are There's some brand new information here We have gallery mode which you, you can watch like portraits possibly even artwork and hopefully maybe a sprite viewer Which is what I'm asking for in my wish list now the wish list video will be out soon So don't let you worry about that. They also have replay theaters, which is great They did have this in blade blue central fiction, but it wasn't as accessible as other games like for example Dragon Ball uh, Street Fighter 5 other other things like that where you can look up players and you can see their replays this is a great way for people to actually get in contact with other players and to find other players that are just as good as the top ones. So I'm excited to see what people have for replays. Maybe we can open up some top 10 replays from BB Tag. That'd be really cool. So that'd be really fun. So replay theater, that's great. Replay theater and gallery mode are always good. And that pretty much does it, folks. That's going to be it for me today. That's all the information that I can give you, the screenshots and the translated from Mitsu article. Everything is in the description below so you guys can check it out yourselves. What do you guys think of the information that came out uh, these couple days? Do you like Yang's Sprite? Do you guys like the replay, gallery mode, and survival, training mode, uh, tutorial mode, all this, all these modes and uh, trials modes? Do you guys like all these modes? What modes would you guys like as well? Let me know in the comment section down below. Follow me on Twitter. Like the video if you guys like these kind of videos. Subscribe to the channel for more BB Tech content of course i'll see you guys next time take it easy everybody have a good rest of your night